of Dundee. Fantastic. Tell us more about the Scots and the class system of the Empire. So, where did we get to before that halfwit popped up? Oh, yes. So I say to my English paymaster, I need to speak to the general. Oh, you can't speak to the general. You're of a lower caste. You're low class. You're working class engineer. No, no, uh, you would need to speak to one of my officers who would speak to me, and I'll speak to the general. Nah, no good. We need to tell the general direct that his bridge will be rubbish and would fail. Oh, well, I've never done this well. Oh, there's the general there. Ah, general, sir, begging your pardon. Scotty McClure, top engineer for the Indian Railways at the time. Yes, indeed. Uh, just to let you know, that bridge you were hoping for, not feasible. Oh, right. Would you like to come into my office? Uh, General, if you'd like rid of this Scotsman here, I can do that because he's not of your class. No, 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 no. Let him. Let the man speak. So there we are. Now, that's an extreme example, of course. That's me just laying it thick. But it does let you know... Why the empire was successful, because the Scots were running it. So there we go. I have breathlessness at the minute, says Quentin. It's very annoying. Quentin, just sit. Take your time. Breathe slowly. Have you got a nebulizer? Have you got a wee spray or anything like that? Dinky do, Scotty McClure. I used to love your time at Scott FM. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Stephen, we must still tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. We have so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. We're not just building Type 31 frigates at Recitus now, Scotty, for the Royal Navy. If we become independent, we'll resurrect the Scottish Navy and keep them. Good one, Robert. Yes, indeed. Although I'm not a Scottish Navy we will need as we are not aggressors. Do you see what I mean? We're not aggressors there. Um, but as the late Philip used to say, to keep the peace, you have to be prepared for war. But if you go back, the Scottish Navy, King James the Fourth, the building of the Great Michael, and she was moored out at Leith. Fantastic, the Great Michael. So everybody, they say that James the Fourth wasted the great forests of Caledonia, building the Great Michael. For the Scottish Navy. See, you've got to remember when people ask about Scottish independence, Scotland's always been independent hundreds and thousands of years, bar the last 313. 